Make sure that y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. <sighs> we got to talk about the worst governor, the worst. And when I say the worst, I mean the worst governor in the United States of America. At one point, I was thinking about possibly doing an award show to talk about who's the best and who's the worst when it comes to politics in the United States of America. Uh, right now, I have Greg Abbott leading in Texas as far as the greatest governor in the United States of America uh, during this voting election period. And I have the worst. And when I say the worst, I mean the worst. The worst in the country is Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is quite possibly the worst in America. California's in shambles. But then I started asking myself this question, right? Because when this came across my desk and y'all sent this to my email, I was trying to figure it out because before I live stream about it, I try to get the understanding. And they always say in everything you do, get understanding, right? And I was trying to understand to myself, why now? Why is Gavin Newsom now practically in California, practically right after they passed the bill to not be able to out the kids when they go in into schools and they say, hey, I want to be identified as she, even though he was biologically born as a male, right? And they say, hey, you are forbidden for telling the parents that your kid is out here being sassy in school and they're going back home and they're being something different so that you can deal with it as a parent. Right after they passed that through the legislation, right after they ran all of the, bill, the, the businesses out, out of their entire state, but then they gave a, uh, uh, reparations over the Panera Bread because they baked their own bread, but they raised the minimum wage for all businesses with over 60 locations, regardless of if it was only in California, but it had to be 60 locations nationwide except for Panera Bread. That donation helped. That donation helped, right? I said, listen, California has been spending billions of dollars throwing it away on social services and then they got the worst homelessness problem, which Gavin Newsom, one of the things that he got elected on becoming governor of California on was the whole idea of solving for homelessness in the state. And then y'all voted him in again. He couldn't solve for the problems that was happening in San Francisco when he was mayor of San Francisco. Go to San Francisco today. Stores are absolutely leaving. They trying to solve for this doom loop and you can't walk three feet without stepping on a pile of doo-doo. You can't even be aware of your surroundings because you're so busy trying to step over these doo-doo bombs on the floor. But y'all made him. Y'all made him. Y'all made him governor of California. Gavin Newsom, who has a multi-billion dollar deficit right after they had a surplus. Right after they had a surplus, they're trying to fill that budget deficit and everything is falling apart, including all of these cities around them. Oakland. Oakland is the poster child of what's wrong with California right now. But I, again, I'm trying to figure it out and I'm trying to understand and I'm going to read that super chat shortly. I was trying to understand and I said, hey, why are they now basically outlawing and making it illegal to be homeless over in California when it's such a liberal city and so many people are living van life and taking showers inside of Planet Fitness and then going into Walmart to brush their teeth? Let's deep dive into it, y'all. Just well, this bit. is a pivotal moment in California. Governor Newsom says no excuses. He is ordering local officials to remove homeless encampments. San Francisco has long struggled to deal with this issue, and city leaders and homeless advocates have different views on how to approach the governor's directive. Here's NBC's Gia Vang. Today I announced an executive order to move the process forward. We're done. It's time to move with urgency at the local level to clean up these sites. Homeless encampment sites where Governor Gavin Newsom says the state has invested billions of dollars to address the housing crisis. It comes after a Supreme Court ruling that made it easier for cities to remove tents and punish people for sleeping on sidewalks. But at the Coalition on Homelessness in San Francisco, which is embattled in a Ninth Circuit Court lawsuit with the city. It was really, I think, a big slap in the face of unhoused people who are really suffering without having access to water, electricity, a door to lock, a bed to sleep in. There are more than 8,000 unhoused NSF According to city data and mayor, they don't say homeless anymore. They say unhoused. It makes it a little bit more PC. London Breed recently said she plans to aggressively pursue clearing more encampments starting next month. Her office said the city is already doing what the governor is calling for, saying in a statement, this is why we are seeing a five year low in the city's tent count on our streets. We have made significant investments in shelter and housing. But would that also include the $165 million permanent housing? 
and 600,000 per unit for homeless people that they have over there in Los Angeles nowadays? I wonder. Does that include $600,000 to build per unit for permanent homeless housing, which will eventually become the Carter? You know, Anton is not going to forget. Thank you for that cash app. I'm going to be reading that shortly. $600,000 per unit, $165 million for the building itself. And they're building more, more. But that's not even an issue right now because we've been dealing with that issue for a while. My question becomes, why here? Why now? The UCSF statewide study last year found addressing people before they become unhoused is key. It found participants reported an average monthly income of $960 in the six months prior to becoming homeless and believe rental subsidies or one-time financial help would have prevented it. It's just, uh, this is what we've been doing. We've been sweeping all along and violating people's human rights and it hasn't worked and it exasperates homelessness. So we'd like to see a real shift. We'd like to see it. The one thing that Gavin Newsom ran on, and I'm not going to let y'all forget this because I got the memory of an elephant and I'm glad to be able to leverage my platform in order to bring visibility to these issues. One of the things that Gavin Newsom ran on was he said that we could solve homelessness in one term with a few billion dollars. And now we got more people on the streets than ever before. Don't believe me? Go walk down Skid Row. Go walk in Oakland at night and see how that's going to turn out for you. It's going to be bad. I seen a guy yesterday. <laughs> so I ran down the street because uh, I got a place down the street. And then I come back and I see some guys starting to take up camp in front of the building that I'm doing this out of my studio out of right now. And I say, hey, man, hey, hey you got to get that from up out of here. You can't be standing in front of the building. You know better than that. You know who I am. I talk to you every single morning. You say, okay, okay. Cool. Oh, I'm, I'm leaving that time. So I tricked him, right? And I went around the block and I stopped. And then I went around the block a little further and I paused. And I let a couple minutes go by. I was listening to Street Sweet Dreams Are Made of These. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world in the seven seas everybody's looking for something. So I listened to the whole song. I was, listen, anybody that seen me in the streets yesterday in Detroit, I was driving in my Porsche 911. Sweet dreams are made of these. People couldn't understand why I was just sitting on the counter. Mm -hmm. Boom. And so people couldn't understand. They was like, man, why is this guy sitting on the corner? But I was waiting because I know my people. I deal with these people on a regular basis. And then I hit the corner. <laughs> and guess what I seen? He was sitting on the street with his penis out. I kid you not. Honest to God on everything. He was facing Woodward and he had his Johnson out. He said, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I said, why are you out here with your penis out in front of my building? Why are you out? Listen, I'm telling this story for a reason. Roll with me. I said, why are you out here with your penis out? I told you to get from my butt here. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm moving. Then he started moving real fast. P is coming out of his penis. He walking up and down Woodward. I said, Jesus, what is going on? I said, we got to figure out how to solve for this homeless crisis. Now imagine, imagine. Because this is a small, <laughs> I, I cannot make this up. This is the honest to God truth. This is the honest to God truth. Listen, the reason that I tell y'all the story of how it is that I got to deal with these people on a regular basis is because I go out and I give sandwiches and I volunteer on the weekend sometimes when I have the capacity and I don't have to fly out of town. And I'm in the streets and I give out money and I give them resources and I try to get them to places that they're supposed to be because a lot of homeless people they don't want to go to the shelters. They prefer to be on the streets. They prefer to sleep in front of the churches. They pre prefer to sleep on the bus stops, right? And so as he was walking around, <laughs> I ain't me too. I said, man, put your penis in your pants. Put your penis in your pants. Don't walk down what were with your penis out of your pants. What I'm trying to tell you guys and what I'm trying to illustrate to you guys right now in this conversation is that 
What's happening in California is that times a thousand million percent. I walked down Skid Row. I've, I got the videos on my other channel. I'm telling you, I am familiar with what the face of homelessness look like. It is multifaceted. It is a problem that you cannot solve by just sweeping up the streets. And so when I see this stuff happening and I see Gavin Newsom out here pretending like he actually care about the people, the reality is this. And I have a theory. I have a theory as one of the greatest morning shows on the face of this earth that you're not going to get this on CNN. You're not going to get this on MSNBC. You're not going to get it on Fox News. They're going to give you the corporate look. They're going to put on a suit and tie and they're going to talk to you like this because I don't know. And they're going to bring in Pierce Morgan and they're going to bring in Charlemagne the God. And why do you embrace Biden and Kamala Harris for president of the United States of America? Now, I'm going to tell you from a person that is going to break it down from a C student's perspective, my theory as to why they are now sweeping up homelessness and basically making it illegal for you not to be out here in these streets because either A, B, or all of the above, either the, we have somebody famous and a great delegate that's coming in from overseas like they did when China came over there to San Francisco and they cleaned up the streets temporarily, or B, maybe, maybe, and this is a theory, and if this is true, you know I'm gonna throw it in your face, maybe Gavin Newsom is trying to make himself look good because Kamala Harris still has to pick a vice president for the United States of America as a running mate. And so he's trying to make himself look good because his record needs to reflect something that they can then use and speak to when it comes to these presidential debates and these vice presidential debates. I believe, I believe in my heart that Gavin Newsom is firmly in the running of president or vice president of the United States of America because he's been in the bullpen for a long time. And I honestly believe that he is one of the people that is trying to have a comp because you got to remember, California is already blue. It's no reason for him to come up this late in the game and then do all of this stuff that's not even helping the people in the California. California is blue. They are not going to do a rally in California. They're not going to do a rally in New York. Those places are solidly blue. They already got it sold up. They have no reason to come and speak to y'all, ask y'all what y'all want for y'all president. Y'all going to vote the way y'all going to vote no matter what, okay? But I honestly believe, and this is my theory, I believe that he's absolutely 100% trying to position himself to then become the vice president and Kamala Harris's running mate. Now, I'm not saying that she's going to pick him, but this is my theory. It's only a hypothesis. It's an educated guess. It's no other reason for it. No other reason for it. They've let them languish on y'all streets all this time. And now four months before you vote in November, all of a sudden you want to start saying that we going to outlaw homelessness and we're going to remove all of these people from the streets. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going for it. So that's my theory. That's my theory. That's my theory. OK. And next time you see a man walking down the street with his penis out, peeing in front of the public and all of these cars driving by. Remember, I told you that it's something that's happening in every city across America. Let me go.